Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man, here to give an update on ATSC 3.0 or Next Gen TV. It's a new over the air TV standard that's launching in the United States. In this video, I will provide details about the new standard, where it's live, what areas will have it by the end of 2021, and when the current ATSC 1.0 signals will shut off. If you're seeing me for the first time, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. My YouTube channel is dedicated to the antenna and cord cutting community. I'm constantly posting new videos on antenna reviews, reception tips, and in this case, ATSC 3.0. Now make sure to watch the full length of this video as I will be explaining some very important details in it. Please don't just skip through to some parts because you may miss some very important information that can prevent you from buying unnecessary equipment. So first I'm going to give a brief summary of what ATSC 3.0 or Next Gen TV is. It's a new over the air TV standard that's set to replace the current ATSC 1.0 standard we use in the United States. The definition of a TV standard is pretty much the way a broadcast signal is sent to and decoded by a TV set. ATSC 1.0 is the main over-the-air standard that's been around for a little bit over two decades. Prior to the digital transition of 2009, the analog NTSC standard was used. The new ATSC 3.0 standard, also known as Next Gen TV, has several improvements over the current 1.0 standard, including better reception, more channels, mobile viewing on the go, and on-demand content just to name a few. Despite some false marketing by antenna companies, you will not need a special ATSC 3.0 or 4K antenna to pick up next gen signals if you are able to get most of your local channels with your current antenna. For those of you seeing me for the first time and my subscribers that are tired of hearing me say this, there's no such thing as an HD 4K digital antenna. Antennas are antennas. Don't let antenna companies fool you into thinking you'll need a special antenna for ATSC 3.0. You don't. While the standard is changing, the frequencies are remaining about the same. What you will need is a new tuner, since the standard is not backwards compatible. As of now, there are not many next-gen tuners on the market. Most are in high-end TV sets over $1,000. The only affordable tuner is Silicon Dust HD Home Run Connect 4K, which costs about $200. It does not connect directly to your TV set, but rather works as sort of a wireless gateway on your home's internet, which can be accessed on a variety of smart devices, like a Roku or Fire Stick. I attach a link to this model in the description of this video. More affordable tuners, including standalone converter boxes, will likely show up in the coming years. Don't let this fool you into thinking that any new TV or DVR in the market that's only ATSC 1.0 is obsolete. I'll explain why. We are still in the very early stages of ATSC 3.0 launching. It has a long way to go, both on the broadcasting and consumer side. I'm going to use the example of ATSC 1.0, the TV center we use now. Many of you may not know this, but it was originally developed in the 1990s. TV stations in large markets began to launch live digital broadcasts in the late 90s, sort of what we're seeing now with ATSC 3.0. Despite the live broadcasts, we did not fully transition from analog to digital until 2009, over a decade later. Consumers did not stop buying VCRs and tube TVs because a new standard was on the horizon. There's no government mandated shutoff date for the current 1.0 standard like there was for analog during the digital transition of 2009. Most TV stations will likely keep the 1.0 signals on the air for at least another 10 years. I'll dive a bit more into this later in the video. So now that you have a good understanding of what ATSC 3.0 is, what a TV standard is, and a few other things, let me get back to the main point of this video. Which areas have live signals and which TV stations are broadcasting? The website Watch Next Gen TV is the best resource to go to. It lists which markets have next gen signals on the air, which markets will launch by summer, and which markets will launch by the end of 2021. If you click on a market that's already live, it will show you a list of TV stations that are broadcasting the new standard. 
If you click on an upcoming market, you can sign up to receive an email when your market goes live. Keep in mind that you will need a new tuner in order to access these signals. Again, please don't say your new TV or the next DVR review on the YouTube channel is obsolete. Despite the new standard gaining some traction, we're still in the very early stages of a launch. The FCC is requiring any TV station that launches a next-gen TV signal to keep their current 1.0 signals on the air for at least five years. Even after that, I don't see the networks turning off 1.0 right away. Here's why. I'm going to use the example of low-power TV stations. They were allowed to shut off their analog signals in 2009, but the FCC did not require them to, just like with ATSC 3.0. As a result, most stayed on the air until about 2015. Some are still on the air today, which you can see in a video of mine titled Analog TV Stations Are Still on the Air in 2021. It's definitely worth checking out to take a trip down memory lane. If you're in a market with live next-gen TV signals, you don't necessarily have to take action right away. Only if you're a very technical person, like me, who wants to witness television history or if you have a certain type of reception problem. The current 1.0 standard does a very poor job with multipath interference. This happens when an antenna picks up a secondary out-of-sync signal reflected off a nearby object. Examples of these objects, which some of you may relate to, include tall buildings in a city, moving cars, trains, planes, and trees. ATSC 3.0 will definitely improve reception for those of you with multipath interference issues. It may also improve reception for people who are using indoor antennas due to the combination of higher powered UHF signals and less FCC restriction on distributed transmission systems or translators to service dead zones in a market. There were a lot of details in this video. Hopefully it all makes sense. As a summary, you can locate live next-gen TV broadcasts at watchnextgentv.com. If your area is not listed, don't worry. We are still in the early stages of this new TV standard launching. We're a long way from it replacing the current 1.0 standard we use. While you do need a new TV set to pick up the new signals, don't rush out and buy one yet. There aren't many out there, and what is out there is pretty expensive. I appreciate those of you who stayed with me to the end of this video. Let me know if there's a specific aspect of ATSC 3.0 you'd like me to focus on in an upcoming video. I do have the HD Home Run Connect 4K and plan on traveling to Pittsburgh to show the new standard in an upcoming video. Make sure to check out my other videos on ATSC 3.0 as well, including one that dives into the aspect of paid over-the-air TV. I attached a playlist in the description of this video. A huge thanks to Phil, Justin, David, George, Tracy, Michael, and everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord and you'd like to support the channel while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antennamanpa. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates on when I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I have a link in the description of this video. I have a lot of links to a lot of stuff in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.